महाशिवरात्रि महाशिवरात्रि द नाइट ऑफ शिवा हैज स्पेशल स्पिरिचुअल सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट मार्क्स द डिवाइन यूनियन ऑफ शिवा एंड पार्वती इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट ऑन द नाइट ऑफ महाशिवरात्रि लॉर्ड शिवा गॉट मैरिड टू पार्वती द मदर ऑफ ऑल क्रिएशन ऑन दिस डे डेविटीज वर्शिप द शिवलिंग by offering bhang dhatura bell leaves bhasm etc and perform special puja there are many symbols associated with mahadev they all have their own significance which can help an individual experience a higher level of spirituality by applying them in life babhut lord shiva's body is always smeared with ashes also known as bhabhut this cremation ash symbolizes demolished materialistic desires wishes rituals and evils when the past impressions of the mind are burnt by spiritual practices what remains is pure ash and we are freed from the bondage of karma ganga just as the river ganga flows from the dreadlocks of shiva Similarly knowledge of wisdom should flow through our words thoughts and actions like river ganga so that everyone around can feel the purity moon shiva is shown adorning the crescent moon on his head time is calculated on the basis of the moon's waxing and waning the lunar calendar is based on the phases of the moon just as shiva is beyond time in the same way our soul is also beyond time also the moon is related to the mind just as the moon keeps orbiting the mind also keeps on changing however on the forehead of shiva the shape of the moon remains the same it does not change its shape in the same way a mind should also experience blissfulness by becoming one with the divine by lighting the true wisdom within third eye shiva's third eye is where the agya chakra is located between the eyebrows this chakra is the highest place of energy we should open this chakra to lead a balanced life through meditation to know the self and mysteries of the universe nilkant shiva drank the poison that came out during the cosmic churning of the ocean so that the gods could drink the ambrosial nectar the poison turned his throat blue and he came to be known as nilkant thus even if we are going through something negative in our lives which is as bad as drinking poison we must accept it with the calm detachedness of shiva snake the snake wrapped around shiva's neck is a symbol of kundalini shakti since the energy runs in a spiral a snake is shown around his neck to explain this kundalini shakti is sleeping in the muladhara chakra at the bottom of our spine the power has to be awakened and brought up to the sahasra chakra in the crown of the head therefore the energy in our life flows upwards not downwards rudraksh lord shiva wears a garland and armband made of rudraksh beads rudraksh attracts positive energy wearing rudraksh can also fill us with positive energy trishul there are three prongs in the shiva's trishul or trident which is the symbol of our three gunas or basic components of creation sattva raj and tam the three fundamental energy channels the entire human subtle system id pingala and sushumna nadis we must balance them to extinguish our physical godly and material sufferings damru 
A damru or two-headed drum always accompanies Shiva's trishul or trident. The sound that emanates from the damru is the universal spiritual energy and is eternal. We should also listen to the inner sound and connect it with the cosmos. Nandi The Nandi bull is always depicted sitting in a calm posture near Shiva as his vahana or vehicle which shows a stable body and a concentrated mind during meditation. Nandi is a symbol of stability, concentration and patience. He is depicted sitting in meditation not in a sluggish or impatient state but in an awakened state. We should also practice this while doing our work. Army of Gunners These are a group of spooks and spirits consisting of Bhutas, Nagas, Yakshas, Pramathis, Pishachas, etc. These beings represent negative energies and we should face them and control them without fear. Rudra Roop Shiva's Rudra Roop is described with Tandava dance that is the source of the dissolution of all the evils. We should also be ready to take the form of Rudra to destroy our vices and evils. On the day of Mahashivratri, we should adopt the true meaning of these symbols of Shiva in our lives so that we can become one with the subtle spiritual energy which is all around the universe.